What makes a great story? What makes a great story? Um, I think first you have to be able to identify with the character. Um, and I think there has to, it has to be a journey that you're on them with and they have to change over time. They have to, you know, evolve over the story, I think. Um, a static character is just not interesting. And, you know, just like we talked about the rules of improv, of course there are people that break the rules that make it work. But the only reason they've been able to make their story breaking, story rule breaking work is because they've mastered the art of storytelling, right? So, yeah, identifiable character, um, relatability, changing over the story from being a different person than they were at the beginning. Those are the key ingredients, I think. Um, and then after that, you can add all the, the details and the fun stuff. And you could definitely see that for Tom, that there was an arc to it. Yeah, Tom, Tom was a little hard because um, without giving anything away, he gets some counseling. And so the choice was, do I play the counseling? Because there's something else going on in his mind that's not revealed. Do I play the counseling like someone that's actually getting counseling? Or do I play the counseling like Tom, knowing he might be having other plans in the back? So that was weird. It was a hard, like, how, how do I play that? Um, but definitely in The Patient Man, the, the arc of the character is really interesting. And also without giving anything away, by the end of the movie, in his mind, he is satisfied. If you imagine beyond the end of the movie, there are other th things that could happen, but yeah. Do you have any advice for aspiring actors or comics? Uh, yes. Um, I would say the most important thing for any actor or comic that wants to get into it is it's all about the network of people. It's all about your friends. M talent doesn't matter. <laughs> you still have to have talent, but I mean, the, the most important thing is that network which is why you want to come here as young as you can, meet as many people, be as nice as you can to people, do favors, be in their student films, help them out with this, help them move, drive people to the airport, do as many <laughs> favors as you can, never be a dick to anybody. And after 10, 15 years, you'll have this network of people. And the people that you play softball with in your 20s, they're going to be running studios in their 30s and 40s. They're going to be directing movies. They're going to be head of casting. So it's just come here, create a network and nurture that network and be nice and do favors to everyone all the time. That is that is what I have figured out after 25, 30 years of this. Do you think it's more so now with social media or it's been the same? It's the same. same? Social media makes it easier, I think. You can probably um, expand your circle a little more with social media, but it's still about having that network of people. And, and don't be afraid to ask people for favors too. As long as you're the kind of, like we all know the kind of people that, that just ask you for stuff and they'll never do anything for you. But as long as you're confident that you, when someone says, I need, I need extras for my short film, yes. I need to drive to the airport, yes. Can you read my script and give me notes? Yes. As, soon as, as long as you're the person that says yes all the time, then don't be afraid to ask people for things. And then don't be upset when they say no, sometimes it happens. Uh, that's, that's my advice. That's more important than anything else than the talent than the agent you have than the projects that it's the people have you thought about if you had come out in let's say 2006 as a 25 year old and how you would have created your own like web series or you know i mean to have something like youtube or vimeo at your fingertips at that age yeah i mean that's that's a neat thing that kids have now and uh i think i, I myself and the comedy group i was in probably would have been doing you know YouTube videos and YouTube sketches because there's a way for your stuff to get seen. So that's. But that being said, I still know people who still think in the old system, mm -hmm. and they say, "Well, I have an agent or manager. I don't need to be doing that." Agents and managers will never get you work. Ne they won't do it. They're there for when stuff that you have created and work, they can help bring it to the next level, right? But, and yeah, occasionally you'll get an audition or two from an agent or man, hey, I, I pitch you for this and you'll go and you'll audition. But that is, that should just be in the back of your mind. You should not look at them as the people that are gonna get you your career. You need to make your own career happen all the time. 
whether that be YouTube or writing a play, making a short film, whatever. Just get out there and make stuff and do it. If it starts to take off, that's when they're great, especially managers to like, oh, I can grab this thing and I can, why don't we pitch this to so-and-so over here? Sure. But just sitting back and like, well, they're going to call me and when they call me, I'll go in and I'll get and then they'll have a career. It's like, no, do not, don't do that. Because they, they just, they, this thing about agents and managers, and I have many friends who are, and I have agents and managers, and they're all really nice people, but they have a lot of clients, and they cannot possibly be thinking about all the clients all the time, right? They're going to think about the top 10 or 20%, which is whoever's at the time bringing in the most money. So you want to be making things, be creating things. You want to stay on their radar. Uh, so that when they do call, you have stuff. Has that been your mentality all along? Has it been my mentality since day one? No, no, it took a while to learn that. I sat around often like, well, I guess my agent's not calling today. You know, it's like, you can't, you can't. They're, they're, they are a tool and it's a great lottery ticket to have with your agent. That can't be, that can't be it. You have to make things. And even if it's not content you're making, you have to, you know, Instagram, you have to tweet, you have to let people know who you are, here's my website, go check out my, you have to market yourself. And going back to when you had the fax paper yeah. for, with breakdown services information on that, maybe all the time that you spent driving around finding parking and doing all that now can be spent online yeah. doing that type of marketing. Absolutely. For someone who's new, yeah. 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 Right, and the Tom's Guide, are they still around? I can't be. Oh, <laughs> it was a cool book. Yeah, yours I know. Is the my last I still have. <laughs> existing one. 